Hi students, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so for today's lesson, we'll be talking about calculating wages. And there are several different ways in which we calculate wages. And we're going to look on each example. In the first example, we're going to use the hourly rate. And what do you mean? What do I mean by that? Let's start off with this problem. All right, so Harry runs a taxi service and he's paid $8.75 an hour. If he works for 40 hours, what would his gross earnings be for one week? There are several things in this question. Number one, you see how much he works for one hour. Uh, number two, you see that he works 40 hours. And number three, it's asking for his gross earnings for one week. Gross earnings just means how much he makes before tax is deducted. How do we solve such a problem? We multiply the rate by the number of hours. So to calculate the salary, which is the same thing as the wage, we multiply the rate by the number of hours. But what is the rate? The rate is the amount of money he makes per hour. And the number of hours is 40. So multiplying the $8.75 by the 40 hours, that gives us a total of $350. And this is something that you can type in your calculator. If you do not have a calculator, of course, you can use your pen and paper. I will give the link of the video I did on multiplying decimals by whole numbers. I'll leave that in the description. All right. So this is one example of calculating salary. Let us look at another example. In this example, we're going to calculate salary per unit. And what do we mean by per unit? Let's read the question first. All right, so Jolene gets paid 17 cents a tree for planting tree up north. In one week, she planted 2,437 trees. What is her wage? Now, when we say per unit, it means for every tree she plants or for every item that you produce. All right. So the items that, that the item that is being produced here is the trees that she's planting. All right. So what do we do? We multiply the rate by the number of units, all right? So wage, which is the same thing as salary, is the rate multiplied by the number of units. And the units is the thing that she's creating, the thing that she's making, or the thing that she's doing. Whatever it is, that's what we, the unit is. So in this example, the rate, which is the amount of money, is 17 cents per tree all right so 17 cents for every tree that she plants that's the rate and the units the number of units in this example is the 2437 trees in some other examples um you might get a unit to be the number of sleeves you show you sew onto a blouse or the number of soap bars you make in an hour a unit can be any quantity all right it's just in this example the quantity or the unit that we're considering is the number of trees to plant okay so the rate as i said is 17 cents and the number of units is 2,437, we multiply those 
and we get $414.29. That means if she works one week planting 2,437 trees and she's getting only 7 cents per tree at the end of the week, she will work $414.29. And of course, think of this in US dollars. <laughs> think of this in US dollars, not Jamaican dollars. Next question. We are going to calculate salaries based, and we're going to compare the monthly salary with the yearly salary. Let's look on this example. John Gross is $27,000 a year. What is his gross monthly salary? Remember, gross is the amount that a person earns before tax. So how do we solve this problem? He earns $27,000 dollars a year how much will he earn in one month to solve this problem we divide the yearly salary by 12 to get our monthly salary why are we dividing by 12 though why do we divide by 12 because as you see in orange there are 12 months in a year so for the year he gets 27,000. You want to know how much he gets every month for the year. Of course, we divide the, the yearly salary or the yearly wage by 12 to get how much he would get within one month. So the yearly salary is 27,000 and the number of months, what is his monthly wage? We divide that by 12. And our final answer is $2,250. So for every month, John is getting $2,250. All right. And that will accumulate to $27,000 over one year period. And of course, as I said before, this has to be US dollars. <laughs> All right. Let's look at another example. In this example now, we're comparing the monthly salary with the weekly salary. So we're still learning how to calculate salary. But we're just using different types of questions. The questions can take any form. So we're going to learn to work with all the different forms. All right. So let's look on this example. Maria's job pays her $1,500 a month. What is her gross weekly salary or her gross weekly wage? Here we see the word gross coming up again. Gross meaning the amount of money she earns before tax is deducted. How do we solve a problem? She gets $1,500 for the month. How much would she get in one week? We're going to divide. We are going to divide. We're going to divide up her monthly salary into four. Why four? Because there are four weeks in a month. So we're going to divide up the monthly salary into four so that we can see how much she would earn in one week. So the formula, we take our monthly salary and we divide it by the number of weeks in our month. The monthly salary is $1,500 and it says weekly wage so we know that we're going to divide by four. So we take our 1500 divide by 4 
and we get $375. So that means that every week, Maria will earn $375. So after the end, at the end of the four weeks or at the end of the one month, all that will accumulate or add up to make $1,500 for the month. Let's look at our final example. We're still learning how to calculate salary. We're just going through the different um, ways in which some of the questions will be presented. So you'll know how to solve all problems that concern salary and wages. All right. In this final example, it says Maria earns $107,000 a year. What is her gross weekly salary? Gross there again, meaning the amount she gets before tax is deducted. Awesome. So how do we solve such a problem? We are given the yearly salary and we want to know how much you'll earn for the week. We are going to divide. We're going to divide the yearly salary by 52 to get the weekly salary. But why are we dividing by 52? How many weeks are in a year? 52 weeks. So we divide up the yearly salary into, um, into 52 because we want to see how much you will earn in each week for the year. So we take to, to get the wage, we take our yearly salary and we divide it by the number of weeks in a year. The yearly salary is the $107,000 and it says we want to get the weekly and we know that there are 52 weeks. So we take the $107,000 and divide by 52. And we get that you're going to get a number with a long decimal, but we rounded it off to two decimal places. So the amount of money that Martha will earn is $2,057.69. Now, students, you've learned how to calculate salaries using a myriad of examples. So now go forth and conquer. You can solve any problem now that involves calculation of wages and salary. All the best.